Hi, this is Krista with ArtisticVegan.com and welcome to another Artistic Vegan show. Today we are going to be making smoked apple sage sausages that are vegan and gluten free. This is our very first YouTube request. I'm very excited to bring this to you. It was requested to try to bring to life the field roast smoked apple sage sausages. So I've not actually had them, that is my disclaimer, but I have looked at the ingredients and I have made a batch uh, previously and it turned out really great, so I'm excited to share this with you now. So let's get right into it. For this recipe, you're going to need some gluten-free flour, one cup of that, a half cup of chickpea flour, a quarter cup of nutritional yeast, some diced dried apple, about a half cup of that. I have two thirds cups of vegetable stock on hand, one half cup of potatoes that have been previously boiled until they're soft enough to break into pieces, one small red onion or about a cup chopped with two to four cloves garlic, whatever you like, minced up finely, saute those in a little bit of water until they're soft and fragrant or vegetable broth. Either one is fine. We'll also need one tablespoon of hickory flavored liquid smoke. That'll give it that delicious smoky flavor and one tablespoon of coconut butter. I also have some spices. You can use your favorite. I'm gonna go with one teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of rubbed sage, one teaspoon of paprika. Smoked paprika would be really fantastic, but I didn't have any, so that's fine. And then one teaspoon of fennel seeds toasted on the stove until they're nice and fragrant. It doesn't take very long at all. And one half teaspoon of red pepper flakes. If you don't like the spice, leave them out. As well as one half teaspoon of salt. And feel free to go with salt and pepper how you like here. So in your bowl, you can do this all in a large food processor. So you can just throw everything in there and have it come together until it's a nice consistency. That's by far the easiest method, but just in case you don't have one, we'll do it in a bowl to show you that you can. So add the dry ingredients to your bowl, along with your spices. Give that a mix. Add your one tablespoon of liquid smoke. This will give it that smoky flavor into the vegetable broth, as well as your coconut butter. And you can use coconut oil here or avocado oil. Mix that up a little bit. And your taters. Just add all the rest of the ingredients. So the onion, the garlic, and our finely chopped dried apple. Now these are gonna be the little pieces that you're gonna see in there and they almost look like real sausage, little bits of fat or something, but they're the dried pieces of apple. Ha! Set together until well combined. You can also mash up any large chunks. That's what I ended up with. Great. Take a decent sized sheet of foil and break it off along with parchment paper matching the same width and then cut that in half until you have two different strips and repeat that so you have four. Place your parchment paper on top of your foil and your sausage in the middle. Touching the parchment paper, wrap it up tightly and twist it like a Tootsie Pop and then we'll steam those. I'm going to make large sausages, so they're going to steam anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes, and we'll proceed to unwrap them, and I'll show you what it looks like at that point, and you will have your homemade sausages.
Dinner's ready. <laughs> I'm so excited. We made it to the end of our show and the sausages turned out fantastic. They hold up really, really great. And you can grill them on your grill. You can bake them or you can fry them up in a little bit of avocado oil or your favorite. You can do whatever you want. So you can keep them oil free if you prefer. We did do it just so you could see that they brown up very, very nicely. Mm -mm -mm. Such good flavor, consistency, nice crunchy exterior, just what you want. Oh, I love them. I think maybe we might have to try the breakfast variety next. I'm not sure. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. This has been Krista with ArtisticVegan.com and I hope to see you next time. Please like or subscribe if you like this video. Bye!